This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do auto tuning using Audacity. Auto tuning, of course, being what T Pain made famous. Now, some people use auto tune so that they don't sound as out of tune, or other people like T Pain use it to accentuate what they're doing. Very cool effect, absolutely free. In Audacity, all we have to do is use a third-party plugin. So with no further ado, let me show you real quick. I'm going to go over here to their website. And if you come into the main homepage, it'll be gvst.co.uk. And then from there, we need to go to the downloads. And the particular plugin we want is the G-Snap pitch correction. So I'll click that. And then from here, we have download G-Snap VST, the plugin. Okay, so I will put my link in the description to this page. As far as I know, Audacity always gets downloaded as a 32-bit application, even if you have a 64-bit operating system. Now, this is a little convoluted, and it's maybe hard to track, but I think for most people, you're going to want to download the 32-bit version. What will happen is if you download the 64-bit version, it's going to throw an error, and I'll show that. And But for now, let's go ahead and download the 32-bit, and I've already downloaded the 64, just so we can kind of show how that works. So just know that if you get the error, use the other one, but I'm going to show you how you should be able to figure this out in advance. And I think it's always 32-bit, but I'll show you how to make sure. So first things first, let's open up our folder that has this in. So I'm going to right-click on this and show in folder. Let me drag that into my view. And so you can see the 64-bit and the 32-bit. So what I want to do, I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. Get that back. Sorry about that. I want to open a folder, so I'm going to go Windows key and the E button, and it's going to open a brand new one. And so let's go to this PC, and we'll look in the C drive. And on the C drive, you can see you've got Program Files and Program Files x86. Now, because Windows wants to make life so easy on you, if you don't know a lot about the structure of Windows, x86 stands for 32-bit, because that makes sense. And Program Files is the 64-bit. So all the program files within this, those are 64-bit, but all the ones within this are 32-bit, and that's why it's 86, because that's confusing. So you can see Audacity is in the x86, or the 32-bit directory, so we'll just open that, and we're going to drop the x86 version in it, which is the 32. <laughs> I hope we're tracking here. So 32-bit equals x86. Okay, just know that. So we double-click the 32-bit, and we grab this gsnap.dll and we're going to drop it into this plugins folder. So all I'm going to do is left click and drag it into the plugins folder just like that and replace destination file. And the reason it's replacing the destination file is because I threw the 64 bit in there. So let me open up my Audacity. So what I'm going to need to do is because the Audacity was open I need to close it and reopen it. So I will just do Audacity again. Pop this up and there we go. So now that we've downloaded the plugin, we need to install it. So I'm going to go into Effect and scroll all the way up. If you don't see Add and Remove Plugins at the top of Effect, just use this button to scroll it up. Hit that. We're going to go over to New, and it'll show all your new stuff. There's the G-Snap, and it's showing it's right there. So we do that. We do Enable. Had I put the 64-bit in, it would have thrown an error. I'll show you what that error looks like in a second. And we hit OK. There we go. So now when we go to the effect, we should be able to go down and find right there a G-Snap. And we can open that up, and this is what it looks like. We'll get into how this works in a second. Real quick, I want to show you what the error would look like. And let me grab a picture of the error that you're going to get. There you go. Scroll that in a little. It's showing that the x86 plugin failed to register. And that you would have gotten that when you hit OK after you tried to register it in your in your effect plugins thing. So there you go. So that's what that's going to look like. Just remember the important thing is if you get that error, go back, get the x86 version, and just drag it in just like we showed before, and restart the program, and hopefully it should work then. That's the most likely issue if you get that problem. So now let's go ahead and look at how to use the actual program. Okay, let's start by putting some audio in here. I'm just going to paste a piece of audio we've got here. I will split this apart a little here, and I will grab a full copy of this again, control C, paste it down here, control V, I'm going to move these over 
so we can have a comparison. There we go. So we move this over here, this over here. So here's what we'll do. We'll play one and then play the, the other. And what we'll do is just do the effect on this other one down here. So hopefully if done right, this will work out. And this one will be affected, that one won't. And we'll be able to hear, here's what it sounds like. Do you feel me too? All right, so you get the feel for it. Excellent. Now we go to the effect, and we're going to open up G-Snap. There we go. Interface is a little bit con complicated, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to learn here. This stuff is only used if you're inputting it with a MIDI. This, these are the types of things you're going to use if you're trying to make your voice actually correct uh, in most cases. But what I want to do, one thing you want to know first, you want to get the right scale. This happens to be an E. So I'm going to leave that at E, and then we want to also look down here. Here are the factory presets. And I'm guessing share the pain is the T-Pain effect, so we'll go ahead and click that one. And since I've got this one highlighted, I'm hoping that's the way that's going to work. Now if, you're, if your attack is not pretty low, and you're not going to get a T-Pain effect, so we want to keep the attack low. I'm not sure what all the T-Pain preset or the bring the pain preset is. But I know if you get the attack and the release down lower, it really gives it that T-Pain effect. So that's all there was to that. I'm going to do that. As far as I know, you don't even have to hit the Apply button there. And then we'll just hit a Play, and let's see what this sounds like. Am I breaking through? Do you feel me too? Do you feel me too? Yeah, there you go. It sounds just like it. At least it sounds pretty good compared to what it sounded before. That's about all there was to that. Um, honestly, the other uh, options we have down here for the factory presets are subtle, major C, and snappy C major. That's uh, the main purpose of this was to get the T pain of sound effect, and that's kind of what we've done. Now you would just go ahead and save your project like you would before. File, export as whatever you're doing an MP3 or a wave or just however you would normally plan on saving it. And uh, that's it, really. So there you go. If you want to learn about the rest of this, I would uh, perhaps I'll get another video out down the road a bit that goes into how to actually use it to correct your voice the way it was intended. Okay, best of luck. Hope that helped. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?